still have no bore at the block. So this is what we're going to use to mix cement. Make sure you fill them up to the top. ready for Lexi to make concrete for the footings. Okay, if you say so. You're the... Person making it up as we go. Yeah, that thing. It's filthy. <laughs> Maybe you should be using gloves to touch that. So you're putting little pieces of Rio in there. Yeah, coal's not as strong as our concrete, so... I'll put a little bit of Rio in there, then we'll... Um, It'll be stronger, stop it wanting to move or pull out, I guess, I don't know. Probably don't have to, I just want to. Yeah. Well, it's better to be safe than sorry, hey? Yep. Okay, so the aggregate used in the concrete here in Vanuatu is coral. At home we use rock. Um, so I had to do some research before we came to figure out what mix I need uh, for the footings. Um, so I found a university study online that's, um, that shows that you can still get 25 MPA using a mix of two coral, one sand, one cement. See, at home we would use three rock, two sand, one cement. So you're gonna use a little bit more cement powder over here, but in saying that it doesn't really matter because at home we're paying $13 for 20 kilos, um, but here I can get 40 kilos for 18 bucks. So I'm getting double the amount for five bucks more per bag. So doesn't really bother me spending that little bit extra and making sure the job's done properly. I mean, um, it says in the study you can actually get 38 MPA if you do a 1-1-1 mix. So if I want to go that way, I can. But I'm pretty confident with the mix I'm going to make and then um, the rebar that's going in there and the amount of concrete I'm putting in each hole, I'm pretty confident this structure is going to go nowhere. <music> Let's make a cubby, didn't I, Bon? No, I did. What do you mean, I did? No. Yeah, and then Dad's over there. 
I've generated them, so I had to pick loudly. Loudly. Mom play with there with the baby. Like she's digging. And um Bonnie's just laying in there. Actually. We're both playing in here. Because <laughs> we wanna get out of work. Because it is so hot. Man, I'll be cranky if the generator doesn't power it. Did you check how many kilowatts it is? Nope. Oh, we should have. Let's see how it goes. Isn't it? Does plugging in the cement mixer. Now you just gotta press the green button on the cement mixer. Oh. Yeah, Dad. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. 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 Absolutely pouring with rain. Everyone's left me to go home and have a sleep for lunch. Quickly tried to cover up everything because we haven't had got a welder yet, so everything's still uh, open. So we've got a fair bit of water coming inside here. I've had to drill a hole in the floor, but that's right where a wall's going to be anyway, so that doesn't matter. It's going to cover up this hole until we do flooring another time. So I'll just have to sweep this all down the hole, and then we're all good. So it's raining pretty heavily. We've come home for lunch. Daisy's asleep, and the girls are doing some schoolwork. And it's absolutely bucketing and it has been for about the past hour so I don't know what Zach's doing. We also realise somewhere in the car, mind the washing, pretty sure they're down there, um, is the screws that Zach needs to do some of the work that he has. Sorry Zach. Where are my pink ear goggles? Uh, I didn't see them before. Why didn't I see them? They're not in here. I thought they were in the bag, but... No, I think they... Oh. <laughs> sure, it's 
saw them in here and I can put them in there. They are. Oh good, you got your safety glasses. You don't need my Italian sunglasses anymore. No. I can't see you. I need to use these. Wish we had a proper torch though. We should have gotten a spotlight while we're in town today. Oh, that's alright. That's not too bad. I imagine alright. Oh god, thanks. See it's still sitting on this corner, it wasn't pushed out properly. I hope this cord's not cut, I'll be cranky, this is a good fan. <laughs> wow, well, mum's just rolled her ankle. Uh, yeah, take it off, it's alright. You just can't take it from the top, you gotta take it from underneath. Yeah, good girl, I on. Well, that's what happens when you go fast. So, she wasn't going fast. I wasn't going fast. I stepped into a divot somewhere. There? It's like a hole or something. Like I see it. rolled out from under me. There's a rock and a hole here. Oh, it's really nice. Nail Alex. Yeah. Which was screaming. I thought I'd broken it. I was like, I can't drive. Oh, I'd be screaming in pain, yeah. Oh. If mum broke her angle, if mum broke her. Um, Ankle, then um, she wouldn't be moving. Anyway. No, I wouldn't be able to move. I'm able to move. So just so try, just try to stand up on you. Yeah. Probably you need crutches. Um, you need crutches. We need to call 115. 115! I know, I'm calling an ambulance. Oh. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm calling it. We're gonna have to go home. There's no way known that I can do any work on this. I can walk on it, but it is so painful. Zach's gonna have to look after the kids, so there's no point even being here right now. I'm just gonna drive us home. That's gonna be painful enough as it is, and just put my foot up, rest it, ice it. That's all I can really do. I'm not going to a hospital here, so fingers crossed that it's all okay. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and give us a huge thumbs up.